Convenience and grocery stores across the state are quickly getting ready for when the new liquor laws go into effect October 1st. But now many are saying that process has stalled and it may mean they won't be able to sell any beer this fall. News 9's Dana Hurtnecki has been looking into what's going on. Dana. Carl, convenience and grocery stores will be able to sell High Point beer, but to get a license to do that, they need what is called a certificate of compliance from the city where they are located. And in a lot of cases, that seems to be the holdup. On cue stores across the state have been getting ready to sell High Point beer for months now. A process they say has been going smoothly everywhere except Oklahoma City where they have only received half, nine of the 17 certificates of compliance needed to get their license. An on cue spokesperson says it's very frustrating. And not just for them. According to the Oklahoma Beer Alliance, the ABLE Commission, who is in charge of issuing the licenses, tells us they are very concerned. They're telling us that they've got hundreds of licenses held up waiting for this, and it's, that it's a statewide issue, not in any particular area. The certificate of compliance indicates the store is in compliance with all zoning laws, safety, fire, and health codes. In the 14 counties that were once dry, the municipalities may also have to pass new zoning laws to comply with the new law. But with only three months left until the new law takes effect, the ABLE Commission is now worried about retailers meeting the deadline. It already was going to be a tremendous effort to get all these licenses issued before October 1st. And then having this major hiccup come along as something that somebody did, everybody didn't predict being such a problem. Now here in Oklahoma City, a spokesperson says getting that certificate is a lengthy process. They have to go through uh, police, zoning, planning, and a fire department inspection. Reporting live on the scene on the story, Dana Hurtnicki, News 9.